Welcome back to Astros Talk on YouTube. Today we're going to do an in-depth player discussion on Aldemus Diaz, who joined the team on November 17th, 2018, in a trade with the Blue Jays. We're moving on the pitch. He got blocked out a bit, gloves it, fires a strike to smoke to end the inning. Aldemus Diaz was born in Cuba, and he defected from Cuba in 2012 at the age of 22. Uh, he was playing in a tournament in the Netherlands and disappeared there, showed back up in Mexico, played in the Mexican leagues for about 18 months from what I can figure, um, and then signed with the Cardinals in 2014. When Diaz came to the majors, he actually holds a unique distinction of being the only player who's, after, who's held a 500 batting average after his first 50 at-bats. Just thinking about it. There's a drive to center field. Gardner's on the run. That's over his head. Hits the face of the wall and Gardner drops it. Martin's going to stop in third. Alephus Diaz comes up with a... A leaky catch out behind second by Diaz. Drops it into shallow center. Mars being waved around. Swing and a drive. Get up, ball. Get up. Get up. Get out of here. Get up. <laughs> Diaz is currently with his third team, having played with the Cardinals, played with the Toronto Blue Jays from where the Astros got him, and the Astros picked him up November of 2018, trading right-hand starting pitcher Trent Thornton to the Blue Jays for Aldemis Diaz. Trent Thornton actually has gone on to be on the starting roster for the Blue Jays this year, so we'll see how that deal works out. There's a drive to left field. Get up, ball. Get up, man. God. I left Miss Diaz. By the way, this time, it'll be a tough play for the shortstop. Diaz, what a terrific oh, grab and what a play. Hey, do or die play for it. Diaz. They were playing Alonso in the shift. Diaz grabbed it there. Oh, Ripping shoulder. Ground ball up the middle and a glove. Left First by time. Diaz to Gurria. Sliding stop Diaz back to his feet and on to first to get him. You know what, everybody In 2016, Diaz actually ranked third or came in third in the Rookie of the Year balloting. And also, he was selected to his first All Star team in 2016. You may remember in 2016, he came in as a pinch hitter. Um, the American League went on to win that game, 4 to 2, the All Star game. But Aldemis Diaz had to face uh, Astro Will Harris in the All Star game that year. And a ground ball between third and short, and everybody's safe. It scoots into the outfield. Martin will score. And the Blue Jays find a way to walk it off here on the There he goes. Base hit down the right field, and that's going to drop. It's going to be stopped late. He runs through the stop sign, and there'll be no play. Backhanded by Diaz. Remember the bad ankle. How about that? Another good defensive play. Diaz comes to the Astros under a little bit of an uphill battle, replacing very popular player Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin was our utility player, uh, clutch, clutch hitter, and Diaz came here and started off a little bit slow, but I think he's starting to warm up with the fans. His defense has improved tremendously since he's been here. We're starting to see some flashes of brilliance there. Um, so even though he replaced an incredibly popular player in Marwin Gonzalez, I do believe that Mar uh, Diaz can actually be a very one of the more popular players on the Astros as well. So there you have a little bit of extra information about Aldemis Diaz, one of our new players on the Astros. I'm looking to make this a series and go through several players that you might not know everything about right now. If you like this video and got some good information out of it about this player, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, let me know what's going on. Leave some comments down below if you want to comment on Aldemis Diaz. Um, I know there'll be mixed reactions on him, but you know what? Let's have a uh, discussion and uh, talk about our Astros.